Hey gang, in this video, we're gonna talk about should you take the Network Plus before it retires? Hey gang, it's Ron from ICMeshKey.com and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So if you're here, you should be looking to get Network Plus certified. So let's just give a brief overview or synopsis of CompTIA exams in general. So CompTIA exams have a bunch of different exams. They got some project management exams, they got some cloud exams, they got some hardware exams, they got networking, they got cybersecurity, they got a bunch of different exams, right? But just like as technology updates and technology improves, they actually update and improve these exams from time to time, usually about on a three year window. So usually whatever version of the exam is out now, it usually be good for three years. When it comes to the Network Plus, the current version, which is the 007, is going to expire at the end, excuse me, retire at the end of June. So should you take the 007 or the 008? Does the 007 carry more weight or once it retires, are you still certified? How does that all work, right? That's kind of something that people have a confusion about. Now, this goes for every CompTIA exam, whether it's A+, Net+, Security+, Linux+, This+, plus, 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 plus. No matter what certification it is, I always tell my students to take the current version. For example, the students in the Zero to Hero program, they're gonna be taking the current version 007 until the last day. So until June 30th, they're gonna be taking the current version, literally until it retires. Because for every certification, even if it retires, and you get the certification before it retires, you are still certified, right? So even if you get the 007 or the 008, you are still Network Plus certified. The A Plus exam is gonna retire as well. So when that version of the exam retires, you will still be certified when the new version comes up. Hopefully this is all making sense. Long story short, as long as you get certified before the date that the exam retires, all that really means is that that version of the exam will no longer be available to be taken. If you want to take the exam, you're going to have to take the new version. No matter which version you take, you're certified. You take the old version A+, new version A+, as long as you pass, you're certified. What I would advise and what I'm having my students do is that you take the current version of the Network Plus. The reason that I have my guys and my girls take the current version is because the study material that we have is actually linking up with the things that they have on our exam. More students have took the current version as opposed to the new version so we can kind of get a good idea of what the students actually need to go in there with confidence and actually do their best on the actual exam so long story super short if you've been deliberating which exam should i take should i take the new one should i take the old one just take the current version just remember that at the end of June, your OS will no longer have an option. You're gonna have to take the new version. But even if you get certified in the new version, you're still gonna be good for three more years, right? You're gonna be Network Plus certified. And the employer isn't gonna ask you, like if you're doing this for a job, or you're doing this to get more opportunities, an employer isn't gonna ask you like, what version you got, blah, blah, blah. Long as your actual certification is valid, as long as it hasn't actually expired, you are good to go. So gang, do me a favor. I want you to watch my last video that's going to help you pass Network Plus and actually level up in IT. Other than that, I'm going to see you in class.